Hey, this is Nevin again with Disket, bringing you Season 7 of Cooking on the Disket. Season 7 is brought to you by Crazy Good LLC, a distribution company that offers different rubs, sauces, sauces, all kinds of good stuff. And today, we're going to totally blow you away with a great appetizer, so don't you go away. Thanks for joining us again for this episode. We're going to be showing you some awesome stuff on the disket. Phil is back with Phil's Gourmet Sauces. Welcome hey, back. Good to see you again. Been here a couple of times now? Yeah, once or twice. I <laughs> love it. Awesome, awesome products that he manufactures. We've used them several different times. A lot of you guys have actually won some of his product on our Facebook contest. Uh, today, Phil is back. He's going to show us some kind of an appetizer. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is a recipe I picked up while I was out in Mississippi. It's a, well, it's kind of got a flair, my flair on it. Your you know? flair, the yeah, Mississippi, my, the New Mexico, New Mississippi Mexico flair. meats, yeah, that, <laughs> something like that. What we got is I have a chipotle butterfly shrimp. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be, it's got a little sauce, a little wine sauce. It's wine. gonna be delicious. You're, you're gonna love it. <laughs> well, let me kick this thing right. on. Now, all you guys know, uh, firing up the disc is real easy. All you gotta do is, obviously with a propane tank on, you push the knob in, you slowly rotate to the left, that click, you got ignition. Now you can adjust that burner so you can have full high 28,000 BTUs of heat, or as you adjust that knob, you can rotate it down. So just that center uh, ring is, is as low as possible for simmering your sauce. Yeah. I don't know what kind of temperature you want here. Okay, now. we're gonna probably turn that down just a little bit because we're gonna fry up that shrimp. Nice, fry. <laughs> we're, I, we're just gonna put a sear on it. We don't wanna cook it all the way because okay. shrimp will get a little rubbery on you. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put some Creole seasoning. Ooh, this is some Tony Sachery. Yeah. Right from Look Mississippi. Just get these. And my crooked letter, crooked letter. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No pepper on this one. I, oh, I think man. we're gonna be we're gonna be good on this. <laughs> Once again, yeah, we're gonna get a little olive oil in there. Well, this this cooks real, real quick. Yeah. So I need to get in. We're gonna feature this week's spotlight disket. So this week's Spotlight Disket is the Frog's Disket. Now when we first designed this thing because of a request, I thought, man, are we ever gonna be able to sell another Frog's? Been a very popular design. You can see the Frog's Disket by going to the pattern section of the website and check out that and hundreds of other different disket designs. We can't wait to build one special for you. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> so now you got a chance to see this week's Spotlight Disket. Phil's got his uh, oil in the disket. You got it, what, on about medium, medium yeah, low? Yeah, it's kind of a medium, medium low heat. You know, we have the, uh, Creole sauce on the shrimp. We're going to toss Ooh, these in. We're just going to toss them in for like just a minute because they cook so quick. Yeah, they do. And then we're going to pull them out. I love shrimp. Get some flavor in the dish too while, nice. we, while we got it. <laughs> when did you come up with this recipe? Oh, this is from Mississippi. You know, I was out there. We were at a restaurant. Yeah. So I got to try that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put, put a little twist on it. You didn't take your disc with you to Mississippi? You know what? They wouldn't let me on the plane without it. <laughs> Too heavy? Yeah. <laughs> we could have shipped. You know where everything goes, FedEx. I never thought about that. <laughs> okay. Um, that's, that's about all we want on this. Just a quick sear quick. on there. That was too quick. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's a good opportunity. You know, now we're talking about shipping. Let's get into this week's Ask Nevin Anything section. So now we're getting this opportunity to ask me anything. Uh, so we're talking about the shipping that just came up in here. Right. Uh, you know, the disc it ships in two separate boxes and all those go FedEx ground. Um, anywhere in the domestic US or, the, or I should say the uh, contiguous 48 states, uh, shipping to the disc it's only $75. Now, if you want to get out to Canada, Alaska or any other exports, you have to call us or email us so we can go in and get everything taken care of for the full quote. But absolutely, disc it ships. We can't wait to ship you one. Thanks for those questions. So now we got a chance to go ahead and ask these, uh, the weekly question here. We're back in here, Phil, that was so quick. Yeah, it was. The shrimp, you know, it's just a matter of a minute or two that it's on there. You just want to get a fry on it. You don't want to boil the shrimp. You know, just give it a different texture. Just like a quick it. sear. Just a stuff. quick sear on there. And then what do you, know, you got now? You got some. Oh, yeah, we're going to do bread. some bread again. If you can just uh, spread some olive oil, just sprinkle it all oh, around. Right there. on the plate or on the, put it on the dish? Just on, first just on the bread right nice. there. Nice. I love bread. Be generous. Oil. It'll be good. You know me, man. Awesome, that ought to Look do that. that. No, I want more. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're going ahead, uh, we'll just start sticking this on the grill because they take a little bit to toast. Okay. So. You just put them all around the perimeter yeah, there? Yeah, well just because the sauce is gonna cook in the middle there. Man. Oh, do, what do you mean the sauce? Oh, we got a, the, a nice uh, little creel sauce in oh, there. Oh, for on top of the shrimp. Oh, on top of the shrimp, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, look. This way this has a chance to 
get a little so, toasty. So even though all the heat again is in the center, the, the disc is hot all the way to the outside. Now the hottest part is going to be right in the center, Absolutely. but the heat comes up evenly all the way around because of the shape of the disc. That's right. Okay. So now you got, uh, Okay, now we have some herbs. We're going to start with a little bit of olive oil in the center there. And this is going to be a quick, Ding. quick little. Uh, Ooh, onions. We got a little bit of onion oh, garlic on there. We don't want to overcook it because it's the got garlic. Some, cheese, yeah, it's got some garlic, and that garlic mm. will toast up a little too quick. Man, the audience is smelling this. You can see here. What do you? They got their drooling going on. This stuff smells so oh, good too. What do you got? Us? We got some lemons, and the nice. nice thing I learned, you know, just toast these lemons as well. It gets a, gets that juice out. Just makes it squeeze out a lot. Oh, really? Lot nicer. Oh, yeah. Got some lemon going mm. there. I always thought you just rolled them like that or something. Or you, you can do that. I like the toasted lemon better. Don't tell all my secrets. <laughs> okay, what we have here, it's a combination of basil, some thyme, and some oregano. Nice. Just some, if you got fresh herbs, use them. If you don't, that, that's fine. Let we got just a little bit more oil in that. And that's olive oil. That's olive oil, once again. Nice. <laughs> okay, Get a little stir. Need to, we're going to have to scoop this bread out just a little bit. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Uh, that smells great. I mean, I say that all the time. People are probably like, come on, serious? It really smells that good. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of white wine. Nice. Pinot Grigio, what is that? Can you say that? Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. Oh, look at you. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of, <laughs> little bit of dry vermouth. Oh, shit. Just a little bit there. Okay. Dry vermouth, Pinot Grigio. Okay, let's see what else. What else? We got a little bit of clam juice. Get a little. What is it? Clam juice? Clam juice? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. You've been cooking, you got all that lemon and stuff yeah, on I, there. I, you loosen it for me. You've been working out. <laughs> that way it gets a little... <laughs> <laughs> got all them scents coming Excuse up. Excuse me. Right? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's strong. <laughs> all right. That's good this there. too fancy for me. I'm glad we have the recipe. Now you guys are watching this on our blog or, or local TV, whatever you're hitting. You go to our blog if you're not watching it on there already. Beneath this video, there's a PDF file where you can print out, you can save, you can uh, share it to your Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of good stuff. So, okay, all now that stuff's there. What'd you add? What did while I miss? While, while you're talking, talking there, I put a little Worcestershire in there. I'm gonna add a little Wor more wine in there. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> okay, we got a little more sauce. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need the recipe for this. Okay, just give that a little stir. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, just turn those. We'll get these. Flip them. Get that bread nice and toasted. Oh yeah, toast so quick too. Look at that. Nice and warm. Okay. Look at that. That lemon keeps falling down there. There we go. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is we got a little bit of my chipotle barbecue. Chipotle. Feels gourmet sauce chipotle and barbecue. We, not too much. We just want to get a nice Was flavor in there because it has three a chipotle. Three tablespoons maybe? Probably about three tablespoons. Mix it back up and the shrimp goes back in there. With that oh, little stir. Wow. <laughs> Talk about getting fancy. That's it. It's really quick. Yeah. You try cooking this on your grill. <laughs> well, I know that's going to take just a couple minutes or maybe even less. So real quick, I want to go ahead and showcase this week's featured business. Hi there, I'm Phil Apodaca with Phil's Gourmet Sauces and I use a lot of local ingredients here. You know, the chilies, the honeys. Uh, and just some other local ingredients that I really, really like here. Um, I have a traditional, a pomegranate, a honey apple, and a honey apple hot that I have currently in production. And soon I'll have the uh, chipotle barbecue sauce. And let me tell you a few things that, that I like my sauce on. The traditional, I like it on brisket. The honey apple is, is excellent on uh, spare ribs, your pork spare ribs, and uh, your pomegranate, any of your pork products, whether it's chops uh, or spare ribs, e even wings. Th those are some of my favorite recipes where I have, or that I like to put my sauce on. Right now I'm locally available in uh, Keller's, uh, Triangle Grocery Store, and then uh, some Tony's Food Markets up in Colorado. There's four stores up there. Hopefully here pretty soon I'll be in uh, Whole Foods. I'm just waiting to get the high fructose corn syrup out. And as soon as I do that, I'll be in the local Whole Foods stores. So uh, keep an eye out for Phil's Gourmet Sauces at your local grocery stores. Thank you. So now we got a chance to see this week's featured business. Back in here, Phil's Gourmet Sauces. You got shrimp and all kinds of good stuff yeah, in this Yeah, all thing. kinds of good stuff in here. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cream in there just to kind of cream that sauce. Cream? Oh, have you got half and half there? Some half and half. You wanna put it in slow, that's what happens. Right. Well, if you don't, your sauce is going to break. What happens? It just kind of curdles and, and separates on you there. So <laughs> you want to kind of add it slow. 
Man, you got a lot of good stuff. Not in too there. much in there. We only added like a half a teaspoon already. Yeah, no. There's be a little bit more quin in there. <laughs> this looks so good. There we go. It's nice thick. And what we're gonna do, just to thicken that up a little bit. You, know, you can either use a roux or a little starch, cornstarch in there. You want to use cold water when you mix that cornstarch. Why? Otherwise, it'll kind of clump up on you and it won't act as a thickening agent there. So hmm. just a little cornstarch in there. So just cornstarch and water? Cornstarch and water. A little bit of cream. Got the shrimp, got the bread toasted, some lemon. We haven't even put squeezed the lemon on Oh, no, no. Huh? That's, that's our last <laughs> thing that we got going on there. Okay, we'll just get those shrimp back, it all up. That shrimp back down in there. And you got the Pinot Grigio wine. You got Pinot what did you, the dry, what'd you call the, the, the dry vermouth? vermouth? You've got there all we go. the. We'll turn that heat off. Just nice. so it's, even though those just stay a little warm. Yeah. Okay. Can we squeeze the lemon yet? Or? Yeah, we'll. Oh, I'm just, jumping the gun on you. You're huh? jumping the gun, yeah. <laughs> there I go again. Hey, while well, you're getting this ready, a quick thank you to the Season 7 sponsor. We've got uh, Crazy Good LLC bringing you all kinds of different products of uh, different sauces, rubs, everything else. You have to check them out. So thanks to uh, Crazy Good LLC for season seven. Phil's Gourmet Sauce is bringing this thing up over here with the shrimp. What do you call this thing? Just a shrimp creole? It's a shrimp creole. Yeah. On the disket. On the disket. <laughs> okay. Awesome. That's huh? it. You know, we'll just plate some up now. Plate some up. Plate it all up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is so good. Make sure we get a little bit of sauce on there. Yeah, put extra sauce on mine. <laughs> you kill it. I'll tell you what, grab one of those lemons if you want to squeeze it on there. Yeah. Just kind of squeeze it all over the place there. Nice. Lemon. We'll plate the rest yeah. later. Let's try yeah, this let's, thing. Let's have a bite. <laughs> right on. So Phil's Gourmet Sauces bringing us an awesome appetizer. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Disgusting.